What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing this amazing Alakazam theme that also features Rotom Heat and Drift Blim. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo. I know you want to subscribe to the channel. It only takes a second of your guys' time. All you got to do is scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. You guys are the real ones. But as long time viewers know, I changed up my camera angle. We're going with the over the top view so I can look at my screen here and look at you guys when I want to talk to you guys personally. I kind of always want to do this, but I never had the equipment to do so. But finally got it. Finally got a nice ring light high up in the air got a stand for my face cam so i was just like yo let me throw it up there and have the overview so if you guys have any tips or like uh little suggestions on my settings because i'm still trying to like tweak with everything let me know in the comment section down below if you do like the new camera angle let me know in the comment section down below as well but you guys know holidays just end it hopefully you guys did have a great holiday let's get into this team preview first pokemon we have on the team is going to be alakazam and alakazam is amazing i think everybody loves him especially me i love this pokemon so much really really good special attacker and it can be built on the support side as well which is how we are playing him on this team today we got the focus Sash as item so it can't get one tap this thing has a timid nature so it can outspeed and get its turns in before anybody else its evs are rocking out with hp and speed max and then the magic guard is its ability and finally this thing's rocking with the moveset of reflect and light screen to protect ally Pokemon alongside with Psy Shock to deal stab damage and protect for its fourth and final move. Love this Pokemon so much. Probably going to be bringing him in most battles because he's on a support build. So hopefully you guys we get to show him off to its fullest potential. Second Pokemon on the team is going to be Storm Drain Gastron. This Pokemon is an absolute beast, especially up against any single water Pokemon. It has Storm Drain as its ability, so it cannot get hit with any water moves. And if somebody tries to hit us with a water move, we will get a special attack boost on top of that as well. We have Scald, we got Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, Recover to get HP back, and Earth Power for our final stat move. This thing's EVs are rocking with HP, little bit in special attack, and then fully boosted out on defense so it can soak up some shots. Obviously, like I've been saying, Storm Drain has its ability, Nature's going to be bold, and then finally the item that it is holding is Leftovers to get a little bit of HP at the end of every single turn. Third Pokemon for the squad is Rotom Heat. Haven't used this Rotom in this uh, in BDSP yet, but Rotom Heat's an absolute menace in any single game. He's really, really strong, really great all, all around, great electric and fire type. We got the Mago Berry as its item. We got the Bold Nature. Its EVs are kind of spread out everywhere. We got HP. We got a little bit of special attack, a little bit of special defense, a little bit in speed, and then a decent amount in defense. So it can bulk up. It can hit hard. It can suck up some shots. It can pretty much come in in any situation. Levitate as its ability, and then finally, it's rocking out with its move set of Thunder. Thunderbolt, Overheat, Nasty Plot to get that amazing uh, special attack boost and protect for its fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is the one and only Garchomp. Cannot go wrong with Garchomp, one of the best physical attackers in the game. We have this normal move set for him with Sword Stance Protect, EQ, and Dragon Claw. Its EVs are obviously going to be attack speed with the rough skin ability, Jolly Nature, and a Yachi Berry. Pretty much a meta staple setup for Garchomp. It just works too well. You cannot go wrong with this one. Next Pokemon is going to be Tokus. Love this Pokemon. Probably one of the best Pokemon in this game, in my opinion. Probably not even just in my opinion. It's probably like a fact. This Pokemon is one of the best in the game. I'm just going to say it right now. It's phenomenal. It's great on any single team. We gave this thing to Scope Lens so it can create a little bit more. We got the Timid Nature to give it a speed boost. EVs are rocking out with HP, uh, special attack, a lot in speed, and then a little bit in defense. And then finally, moveset is going to be Follow Me, Air Slash, Dazzle Gleam, and Protect. Nothing special. Pretty normal Togekiss. Just here to get some damage off, protect allies, and just be great in any situation. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Drifloom, and I absolutely love Drifloom. I think it is super, super underrated. It's great all around. It learns Tailwind, as you guys can see. It also learns Strength Sap, so we get HP and drop Physical Attack Stat. Really, really good up against Physical Attackers, especially because it learns Will-O-Wisp as well, which we are rocking out with as well. Will-O-Wisp is great. Put the burns on. Has physical damage, so I can just take out physical attackers just by laying a burn on them. And then the final move for this Pokemon is going to be our stab move, which is going to be Shadow Ball. Great move set on this Pokemon. Can't wait to showcase it in some battles. EVs for this thing is going to be HP, fully bulked up in defense, has a little bit in speed, a little bit in special defense, and a tad bit in special attack as well. Uh, nature's going to be calm. And then finally, the item for this thing is going to be Citrus Berry. So when it falls below half, we can get some HP back. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself or see any of the stats, make sure you head in the description down below. We're going to have that Poke Paste down there for you guys. You guys can check out everything so you guys don't have to ask me questions in the comment section down below. But if you guys do still have questions, let me know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder. Look to get some wins with this amazing Alakazam doubles team. 
Hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against a very tough opponent. This guy's got a belly drum Azumarill team, and if you guys haven't checked out my Azumarill video, definitely go check it out. It showcases the power of Azumarill to its fullest potential. He also has Breloom, who's a top tier character, not character, Pokemon, alongside with Togekiss, Tyrantar, Heatran, and Salmon. So like I said, very tough team. How should we go into this one? How should we play? He could bring the Breloom in, but we could also just lead Alkazam. Alkazam could be pretty good up against a lot of these Pokemon, and I think we have to bring Togekiss. I think Togekiss is a must. I think he is going to bring Heatran as well. So we definitely have to watch out for that. I don't think we need Gastron. Unless he's setting up the Belly Jump. So we might want to bring Storm Drain Gastron in that back end. Which I am going to do now Now I'm thinking about it. But let's go Alakazam alongside with uh, Rotom Heat could come in here. I am kind of liking Rotom Heat because we cover a lot of different Pokemon with a Rotom Heat. So I'm going to go in with Rotom Heat. I'm going to bring Storm Drain Gastron in the back end. And then finally, do I go Togekiss or Garchomp? What's the call here? Garchomp is going to be really, really good. Because it outspeeds a lot of these guys. It's super effective. But... He has two Pokemon that are really tough up against Garchomp, which is going to be the Togekiss and the Azumarill. So it's either Togekiss or Garchomp, and I feel like Garchomp is a must here. I feel like Garchomp's a must. Actually, I'm going to go Togekiss. I'm going to go Togekiss. Final call. He has a Breloom. It's super effective up against that Breloom as well. So let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, I'm kind of liking this face cam, man. I'm kind of liking the face cam. I'm kind of liking having my screen over here. And then when I want to talk to you guys... Look straight up. I, I just always like that. I always like watching uh, content creators do that as well. So I just think it's better. I just think it's better for a channel. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. But he's going to go in with Azumarill alongside with uh, Breloom. In this case, we outspeed him. And I kind of just want to go here and here. I just think that's an easy play call, right? This is this is kind of weird. A Breloom alongside with an Azumarill. Lead. So it, he has two scary Pokemon here. Alakazam's just going to do a monster amount of damage and pop this thing's focus sash so we know we have speed on him up against that breedloom breedloom is going to outspeed us now and spore him which is mm, not too good because now we know he outspeeds by uh my rotom i think rotom should go next which is great and we're going to drop a big old thunderbolt here get some huge damage off on this thing maybe this thing's going for a belly jump let's just see what he's doing he rocks out with the citrus berry and what should we do from here what should we do from here what's he gonna go for he's going for a belly jump and it fails. That is amazing. That is great. We knocked out enough health for that thing to, uh, you know, for it to not be able to set up belly jump. But I'm trying to think of what to do here. So he has, uh, he hasn't made a sleep. He has Rotom. He can put Rotom to sleep easily. He can put Rotom to sleep easily because he outspeeds him. So I kind of just want to start targeting down you. And I kind of just want to protect the Rotom here and see what he's, just feel him out. See if he's going for that Aqua Jet. We'll see what he's trying to do here. Jack's going to poke here. And let's just see what he's trying to cook up. I think he's definitely trying to spore my Rotom. He's going to go straight for a Mach Punch. Okay, we blocked that. That's huge. So I could have just taken that thing out. And this thing is going to go for an Aqua Jet. So he's probably going to do that same thing. And in that case, you know, I'm just going to swap it to my Gastron. I'm just going to swap it to my Gastron, have that Storm Drain, and try to cook up a nice little special attack boost. That could be really big for us. So we're going to go for the Psy Shock. We're going to try to go after him. And Azumarill's really not a threat when it's not Belly Jump set up. So I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about the Azumarill. We outspeed it. It's very slow. We have Storm Drain Gastron out here. It doesn't have first turn priority anymore. It's great. We're sitting in such a solid position. And Gastron's a big defensive pool. He's going to go for the Mach Punch. I think he's going to go for the same thing. And is Aqua Jet going to poke here? Yep. Aqua Jet pokes. And we get that special attack boost. That's huge. Alkazam hopefully should wake up here. Yep. Alkazam wakes up. And here comes the side shot. Taking this thing out. Beautiful. We are sitting in such a good position. We got Alkazam on the field. Faster than everybody. We can set up screens. We can also have uh, we have a plus one Storm Drain Gastron out on the field as well. We're sitting in a great spot. We're sitting in a wonderful spot for battle number one. Leftovers are going to poke. We get our HP back. And who's he going to throw out? Who is he going to throw out? But I think it's time for us to set up screens. We just didn't need screens in that first turn. I was just like, yo, we got to target down this prelim. Or he's going to put all my Pokemon to sleep for the rest of the game. He goes into T-Tart. Let's set up this Reflect. Reflect is an absolute must for us. We are plus one. And again, I'm not really too worried about the Zoom Realm. So let's go Reflect. And I might just recover this turn. Or you know what? I could yawn. I could yawn, but I'm thinking of just scalding down onto this thing. Right, getting off some damage onto this Pokemon. And do I have Protect? No, I just have Recover. So what's our plan? Earth Power or Scald? I mean, we can't. We have a chance of leaving a burn, so I'm going to go Scald here. I'm going to go Scald on this thing. And then I can start Shy Shocking down onto the other one. Onto the Zoomerel. But he's going to swap it. He swaps the Zoomerel and he's going to show his final Pokemon, which is going to be Salamence. Okay, so Salamence is going to poke. And Timmy is not going to do anything. We're special attacking, baby. We are special attacking, and I don't I don't see the swap there. I just think he was just like, okay, he has Storm Drain, and we're not dealing with it. But Flex sets up up against two physical attackers. I mean, Salamence could have some special attacking moves, but I'm really only worried about this T-Tar. 
He's going to crunch here. My boy's going to be able to soak that up because we have the Focus Sash. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we can get off a turn next turn because Buffets cannot kill him because we got that Magic Guard ability. We got that Magic Guard ability on him. Scald's going to poke out here. Give me a burn. Show me a burn, baby. No burn. Get out my face. Get out my face. Salamence takes Buffets. And that's going to be it. It's going to be it for the turn. All right, so Salamence comes out here. And do we set up the screen? Do we set up the light screen or do we get damage out before we roll? What's the plan? What is the plan? Do we get damage or do we set up a screen? I mean, maybe Salamence is on the physical attacking side. I don't know. I think we double down. Mm, do we, mm. I said we set up a screen. Just in case this thing is special attacking, that can really, really help us out here. Let's go for another Scald or it could go for the Earth Power. Earth Power is a hits a bit harder, so I'm going to go for the Earth Power here. I'm going to go for the Earth Power. We'll set up a light screen as well. We have speed unless this Salamence is Choice Scarf. Because I did use a Chewy Scarf Salamence and that thing just outspeeds like everything. So we're going to hope this thing ain't Chewy Scarf. Hopefully our Alkazam could just outspeed it, set up the screens, and then die out from there. And that's exactly what it's going to do. Light Screen's going to be able to set up. We got screens set up. We got a few strong Pokemon in the back end. And Battle Number 1's looking really good for us. He's going to go straight for an Outrage. And that goes an Alkazam, right? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Use an Outrage just to take out my Alkazam. He's on 1 HP anyway. He's on 1 HP anyway. This thing shows that he's Orbed. And this thing's going to drop 8 rocks. Okay. So we're setting up a Stealth Rock. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Because we still have to swap it to a Rotom. That's going to do some nice damage to our Rotom. But Earth Power's going to poke. And maybe KO? Let's see. No, it brings it down to the red, though. Right down to the red zone. We kind of got to get out of fast Pokemon here. And I'm thinking Togekiss is perfect in this situation. Togekiss is going to be perfect in this situation. Togekiss is coming out here. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Especially with the screens up. Togekiss can definitely soak up some shots. Maybe outspeed the Titar. Maybe. We do have the Timmy Nature on him. But Gastron's going to be able to soak up any shot. So I'm just going to go into a Gleam, take out the Titar, and then double down into that Salmon slot and try to take it out. Because, like I said, I'm not worried about the zoom roll in the back end. It's really not posing any threat without Belly Drum set up. So, it's over with. It's pretty much over with if we can just kind of get these turns rolling. Uh, Earth Power will not hit him, so we're going to have to Scald. I could Yawn or I could Recover. But I think Gleam with this uh, plus one Scald should definitely be able to take him out. He's going to go for an Outrage. It doesn't affect Togekiss. He has to go into it because, you know, Outrage, he's stuck into it. So, Togekiss was a great call here. We do outspeed. Tyranitar is going to go down here. He's confused, and the Scald should be able to pick up the KO. And then it comes down to a 3v1 situation, which is pretty much a lock rush. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Using this support Alkazam set, playing the matches slow and just winning battles. I always like winning battles super slow and kind of just playing like playing like a longer match instead of just having a hyper offensive team and just sweeping Pokemon left and right. I just always feel like that's like more Pokemon. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. It's just more of a Pokemon battle to play it slow, swap out, get some cool Pokemon in here, and just, just play it slow, you know? Always liked it. Always like teams like this. It's not a stall team. It's not hyper offensive. It's just a great team. It's just a great team. There's no other way to put it. There's no other way to put it, but hopefully that made sense, you guys. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon, which is going to be this lovely Azumarill, and we're going to air slash it up, hope for a crit, and just go into an Earth Power and finish up this battle. So that's GG's. That is GG's. Solid first battle. We're going to start off 1-0. Waiting for this attack to go through. What's this guy doing? Is he going to cancel? No, no cancel. Attack comes through. Air Slash should be able to finish off, right? Air Slash comes through. And there it is. Get that crit with that super luck. And that scope blends for that boost. We grab ourselves a win. We start off 1-0. Let's hop to our second. Look to go back to back for you guys. Second battle coming at you guys. We got another tough opponent here. He got himself a rain team with Pelper Ludicolo. And then he has Latios, who is a powerhouse of a Pokemon. Scissor, which is another powerhouse of a Pokemon. And then he has Arcanine and Raikou in the back end. Storm Drain Gastron, you are 100% coming in here. 100%. Raikou can't hit you. And it kind of counteracts on that rain team. So Gastron's going to be coming in the back end. Who should I lead though? And how should I go into this one? I think Tokus could be a great lead. But I really don't want him leading the Scissor. Scissor could definitely be scary. I could see him leading the Raikou. So I kind of just want to lead Garchomp here. Garchomp could be really good. Garchomp and Togekiss could be really good. I don't want to do this. Let's do both of these guys. Let's do both these guys. Bring Gastron in the back end because, like I said, absolute must. It's an absolute must. And then finally, last Pokemon. I'm thinking Rotom. I'm thinking Rotom. Even though we could set up a Tailwind with Drifblim, I just think he leads the Latios. I really do see Latios being the lead. And then maybe the Arcanine as well. We'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. Let's bring the Rotom. Let's lock in the squad. Look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. I wanted to go in the Drifblim, but it was just like, dude, I can't do it. I cannot go in the Drifblim with uh, the Pokemon that he has. He's going to go with Latios and Ludicolo. So he does have Ice. We do have a Yachi Berry, which is really, really good for us. We do have a lovely little Yachi Berry. But I could soak up a shot. I could soak up a shot. I might protect my Garchomp here. 
which I think I'm going to do. I could go into follow me. You know, I could sword stance. I could sword stance set up here. I could go into a follow me. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to fake me out, you son of a biscuit. And then what's he going to go for? A dragon move? It's looking a little tough for us. Let's see his play. We flinch. We can't move. He's going to go for a straight ice beam. Good thing it's an ice beam. Yo, Yachi Berry's going to poke here. Yachi Berry's going to poke here. That's fine. Yo, dude, that thing does a backflip, and we survive on three. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yachi Berry saving us. Saving us. We sword stance set up, so we're posing a huge threat here. We're posing a huge threat. Obviously, follow me. He's going to have to poke here. And do I just dragon call? I think I just dragon call, right? Wait until Sladios. We got to get rid of him. We got to get rid of him. Let's go into this follow me at this point. Follow me is poke. Follow me is poking. Yo, Yachi Berry clutching up. Clutching up. Can't believe this thing faked me out and did me dirty like that. Thank God it wasn't going for a dragon move. Dragon move probably would have killed us. Probably would have killed us. But yo, Yachi Berry clutching it up. Clutching it up. Yo, I thought it was sick. That thing did like a backflip and then sent the ice beam. Really like that animation. I really do like that animation. He's going to withdraw here, which yo, I'm totally fine with that. And Pelper's going to fly out here. Paloops is going to fly out here. Paloops is going to set the drizzle. That's totally fine with me. As long as this Latios isn't protecting, I would love to get rid of it and go one for one. Follow me. He's going to come out here. This thing is not protecting. That's a great turn for us. This is a great turn for us. Unless it has a double hitting move, but I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. So Ice Beam is going to come out here again. I think it's Choice Specs. I really do think this Pokemon is Choice Specs, so we should be able to take it out here with this lovely Dragon Claw. Yeet. Send that thing, and we can say later to you. So this thing's gone. We're sitting in a good position. He's going to bring back out Ludicolo. We already know that. We already know Ludicolo is going to come back out here, and... What's my play here? What is my play here? Because he's going to pick out one of my Pokemon. And I think we just get rid of the Ludicolo. And what I mean by getting rid of the Ludicolo is I double down with him. Because he's going to fake out and take out one of my Pokemon. And then both of my other Pokemon do outspeed the Pelipper. So I just think going into an Air Slash and a Dragon Call doubling down into the slot could work really well for us. There's the fake out. He chooses to take out Garchomp. Tokish should now outspeed this Pelipper. And be able to get probably a critical hit with the super luck and scope lens. Super effective shot onto Ludicolo. Let's make it happen, Togi. Make it happen, Togi. Tokis goes. Air Slash popping out here. Did my plan work? It did. Ludicolo drops. It's going to turn into a 2v2 situation with our lovely uh, Storm Drake Astron in the back. Storm Drake and the rain's poking. So Skull's going to be able to do more. Oh, and he sets up a Tailwind. He sets up a Tailwind. So we get to see who his final Pokemon is. And we can follow me a shot. We can follow me a shot. But who do we think it is? That's the real question. Because we could go into you. Let's have Tailwind, though. Tailwind's scaring me. Could go into Gastro here. Hmm. Did we go into Rotom and try to force a water move? That's what I'm going to do. He's going to go into Scissor here. And Scissor's definitely scary. We could force a water move here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to force a water move here. I am going to force a water move here. Just by swapping into Gastrodon. See if I get Storm Drain poking again. He's obviously going to go for that Bull Punch. So I could protect and just waste a turn here. So, that's my plan. I'm going to say Bull Punch comes in. He goes for a water move into my Rotom. And we're going to look for this. We are going to look for this. Gastron's going to come out here. And let's see if this plan can work out here. Tokus protects. Bull Punch come into me. Scald come out here. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Bull Punch comes into me. Scald, yo. Scald, yo. Come on, yo. Make my plan work. Oh, my God, yo. I'm too good. I'm too good. What a nice read, yo. What a solid read. Brings us in a good position for this battle. So now we're sitting here with Scald. I'm just going to Scald onto the Scissor. We got to get off as much damage as we can. And I'm obviously just going to follow me a shot. Obviously, I'm just going to follow me a shot. Scissor's going to protect. That's a great turn. Now that's a great turn. That is a great turn by him. Nice protect by him. Uh, Toka's going to go down here. And it's going to turn into a 2v2. 2v2. And they have Tailwind. They have Tailwind. He's going to Hurricane. That's going to take out my Tokus, obviously. And this one's going to be close. This one is going to be real close. We do have the overheat ready to go. He can't go into a water move on the me. Skull's going to block. Scissor is really the only threat. Scissor is really the only threat. Let's go on the Rotom. Uh, what's our play here? Protect Rotom? I think we have to protect the Rotom, right? Start trying to waste out Tailwind turns. I could yawn. I could yawn and just protect, but uh, what's our play? I think we got to get after the Scissor here, right? Let's protect. Let's protect. Protects can come out from Pelipper. That's great. That is a great turn again. Yo, solid ending of this battle. Really liking it. Protects gonna poke from the Rotom. Hopefully his uh, scissors coming after me. And scissors gonna go. Oh, he's swords dancing. He's dancing, yo. He's dancing, bro. That's looking a little scary. But I think Tailwind ends, which is really, really good. So we can outspeed him. Skull's gonna poke here. And how much damage can we do? Can we get a burn? More importantly, some good damage. Give me a burn. Show it to me. No burn. Rain stops. And I think Tailwind's gone, right? 
Yep, Tailwind's gone. Okay, so Scissor's rather slow. Um, what do I do here? I think we just double down to Scissor. I mean, Scissor could protect. He could protect. You know, I'm going to go Thunderbolt in this call. I don't see Scissor being able to take out my, uh, my Gastrodon. I don't see it. We're bulked up. He's a really bulky po Pokemon. I think we're sitting in a great position. I think that Protect and Scald Reed really did come in clutch. He does end up protecting Scissor, so good thing I did not double down into it. We are going to be able to drop a Thunderbolt. I think he's going to set up a Tailwind. Yeah, Tailwind's going to poke, and we're going to start getting after it this way. Hopefully, it's not Sash. We're going to hope it's not Sash. Thunderbolt's going to poke. Right. And it is Sash. It is indeed Sash. Critical hit pops. And what do we do from here? He can't go into a water move. He's definitely going to go into a hurricane. And what do we think he does? What do, we, what do we think he does? I think I think we just uh, I think we just scald over in the scissor here. I should be able to finish them all. And we go into a thunderbolt. Do we double down in the scissor or do we get rid of Pelper? Hmm. We still have our Mago Berry. We still have leftovers. I don't I don't I don't feel like protecting any of our Pokemon here. I just think we just swap our shots here. Pelper's gonna use a hurricane and yo Rotom with the dodge, baby. That's a huge dodge. Exes are gonna poke. Gastron, like I said, bulky little Pokemon. Knew it was going to be able to soak up. Thunderbolt's going to poke here. That's going to take out you. And Scald should be able to come out and finish off this battle. Yo, what a great battle, Blast. Yo, a hard read. Actually, really great read. Reading the Storm Drain and the Bullet Punch Protect at the same time. At the same time, pretty much just gelled this battle for us. Made us get the upper hand and grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Let's hop into our third and try to get ourselves a perfect record for you guys. Hopping into our third and final battle. That last battle was awesome. We made an amazing read at the end, calling that bullet punch, protecting our Togekiss, and more importantly, calling that Scald and getting out our Gaston. That was a great call, Baz, making us get ourselves that win there in battle number two. But we're here in battle number three, looking for that perfect record. Our opponent has a really cool team, a really cool team. I'm really digging it. He's got Charizard, he's got Gyarados, he's got Torkoal, he's got Articuno, Drapion, and Snorlax. That, that, just all those Pokemon are looking amazing. They're looking amazing. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I think Driplin, we're just going to bring him in here. We haven't showcased him yet in today's video. So I'm just like, yo, let's get out Driplin. We can set up Tailwind. We can burn some physical attackers. We can do a good amount of stuff with him. So Driplin's going to get the lead. I could go Alkazam and set up the screens. Could be really good. Could be really good. He also does have that uh, Drapion. So we are super effective up against that if he leads it. So I'm kind of thinking of just leading this thing. I know Rotom Heat is a must to come in here. He has three flying Pokemon. Three flying Pokemon. So Rotom Heat is definitely coming in here. And then finally, our last Pokemon. I'm thinking either Togekiss or Garchomp. I'm thinking kind of, I'm leaning more towards Garchomp here. So I'm going to go Garchomp here. We do have the Yachi Berry on him, just in case he has that Articuno or that Ice Fang on the Gyarados. So I'm really liking Garchomp. Here. I'm really liking the Garchomp. Let's try to grab ourselves a perfect record here. Hopefully this dude's uh, playing with four Pokemon. I, I actually been forgetting to check in the last two uh, battles. Usually check every single time, but watch. Since I said that, he's definitely going to be bringing in what's it called. He's definitely going to be bringing in uh, six. So let's see. Drought's going to pop here. Oh, I'm kind of cool with that. Eruption's kind of scaring me a little bit. But let's see how many Pokemon he brings. He brings six. Yo, what did I just say? I just said, yo, he's going to bring six. And of course, he brings six. I could set up a Tailwind, but there really is no need. We kind of outspeed already. I think we just Shadow Ball into you, and we could Psy Shock. And it has no... Why did I think it was super effective? Why did I think it was super effective? Why, why, why? Oh, it's just Poison types. It seems dark, isn't it? Yeah. It's just poison. Dang it, man. That's a little tough for us. That is a little tough. I could set up the reflect. Could do really good, but I might just double down the... Actually, no. Let's set up the reflect. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go into the Will-O-Wisp. And then set up the Lich. Is Torkoal scaring me? Torkoal is scaring me. I'm not even going to lie. So, Lich going to poke here. We know the Focus Sash. Uh, Drift Bomb should be able to soak up whatever. And this thing is just going to go for a Crunch, which we should be able to eat up. We have our Focus Sash anyway. So, Focus Sash is going to poke here. And I think we're sitting in a solid spot here. I think we're sitting in a solid spot here. But, yo, he has six Pokemon. But a win for me would just be destroying four Pokemon before he takes me out. That would be a win for me. This thing shows he's Orb, and we're going to put a burn. We're going to put a lovely little burn on this physical attacker. So, Drapion, get on out of here. Uh, hopefully, he's probably going for an eruption, right? If I had to guess, right? No, he's going to go for a rock. So, he's going to set up Stealth Rocks. Um, what's that play here? Just start targeting him down or set up a Light Train? Or set up a Reflect? Because we just set up a Light Train, right? Is it a Light Train? I think it was a Light Train. We can't check. This game, you can't check in. So, <laughs> it is what it is. We're just going to go for Shadow Ball. We'll target you down, and we'll set up this uh, Reflect here. We shall set up this lovely little Reflect. Because we know Alkazam's going to go down here. It's totally fine. And then I'll set up a Tailwind next turn. I kind of like uh, where we're sitting on the speed board. I don't think we need a Tailwind at this moment. So, I just think doing some damage on the Torkoal. And uh, having the burn slowly chip away with the Reflect up on this Drapion. I just don't see Drapion being a big threat anymore. 
anymore. I just don't see him being a threat. He is such a cool Pokemon, though. I definitely got to get a video out showcasing him. But whenever people play six Pokemon, if I could just kill four of them, that, that's a win in my book. He's going to end up crunching. Look at that. No damage. It's super effective. We just soak up all day. We soak up all day. He is going to get that defense drop, which kind of kind of bums me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. kind of bums me out a little bit. But Shadow Ball is going to poke. And we're going to do some damage up onto the Torx. Which I think Torx probably just going to go for Heat Wave or an Eruption, let's say. He goes for the Eruption. And should be able to soak pretty well. Yep, Drifflum eats up. Our Unburdened is going to poke because we're going to get our Citrus Berry HP. And we're sitting in a solid spot. We're sitting in a solid spot. I think I just bring out Garchomp here because I can freely go into EQs. I can freely go into EQs because I have Drifflum, who's a flying type. So Garchomp is definitely going to get the poke here. We definitely poke him with Garchomp. Garchomp, come on down, baby. And we'll save a Rotom for the back. If we can get this 4v6 rolling, that could be pretty tough. That could be pretty tough for us. So we're definitely going for that EQ. EQ is going to work wonders here. And Seltrox is going to do a little bit of damage to us. Just a little bit of damage. I could Tailwind now. Do I really want the Tailwind? No, I think I want to double down into this Torkoal. I really do want to double down into Torkoal because I think this should be able to take out the Drapion, but it won't be able to take out the Torkoal. So doubling down into Torkoal might be able to do enough damage just so we can pick up that KO. Make a move, my guy. Let's see what you're cooking with. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good right now. I want this 4v6, but you know, 4v6 are really tough, especially when you're using a team like this, which maybe I should have just set up a, a Swords Dance here. Maybe I should have set up a Swords Dance. Considering we know where it's 4v6, 4v6, and like in order to 4v6, you kind of need a Pokemon that's going to sweep. So you really need somebody who could set up a Swords Dance like Garchomp, but I just think at this point right now, EQ is 100% the play to take out some Pokemon. We shall see. We do have a nasty plot in the back. He's going to withdraw. Yo, do we? Totally. 1,000% should have set up the Swords Dance. If we would have set up the Swords Dance there, that could have been a lovely little turn. But we are going to Shadow Ball into the Charizard. I think EQ should be able to take out Drapion. And then next turn, I could protect and uh, set up a uh, a Tailwind. Just so we can have speed. EQ is going to poke. Doesn't affect Drifloom. Doesn't affect Charizard. But hopefully it takes out this Drapion, right? Yes, sir. Drapion, get on out my game. We're not dealing with you, Drapion. Um, what do I think he's going to go into? What do we think he's going to go into? You just have the drought. Solar power is going to chip away. Unburden, we do outspeed. So I could Tailwind. I could Tailwind and just Dragon Call onto the Charizard. But it really depends who he's going to bring out. It really depends who he's going to bring out. Because we know Drifloom is definitely fastest on the field. Unburden's giving him that boost. So Tailwind can come out at any time. But the Sun is scaring me. And I think a Dragon Call can take out that Charizard. It's really kind of just like a glass cannon. Especially with no Dynamax in this format. Once you hit that thing, it's doing a big amount of damage. He's going to send out Gyarados, and now we're sitting in a, in a scary little spot. I definitely want to burn that. I definitely want to burn that. So I might protect. Oh, it's not Intimidate. It's Moxie. It is Moxie. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that and this. That and this. But the question is, does Garchomp normally outspeed a Charizard? I think Charizard might be a tad bit faster. But I'd rather not set up a Tailwind. I'd rather not waste a turn setting up a Tailwind if I don't have to. So every turn counts. This. Every turn is going to count. We're going to protect here. I think that like an ice boot might come through here. I really do not know. will o -Wisp is going to connect on the Gyarados. Like I said, yo, Drift Blim is a beast up against physical attack. It has that strength sap. It has that will o -Wisp. It's just huge. Charizard's going to go for Dragon Pulse and we block that. That's great. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. And this thing's just going to go for a Dragon Dance. So I'm kind of cool with that. I'm kind of cool with just going into Tailwind now and Dragon Claw. Right? Is that my play? He's going to take some solar power damage. Garchomp, I'm really, or Gyarados, I'm really not too worried about because I could Strength Sap it. It's not going to kill any of my Pokemon in this turn. So I think just going into Tailwind alongside with uh, Dragon Claw is our play. And then next turn, just Strength Sap that down. I'm with it. Because the only way he's going to do big damage onto my Gyarados is an Ice Move, and we have that Yachi Berry still in the back end. So let's Tailwind up. Let's get that Dragon Claw ripping. Let's get Ampharos. Let's get Ampharos, yo. We're playing really good right now. We're playing really good right now. But the dra Dragon Dance is still a little scary. Even though we have the burn, it's still a little scary, but it's less scary. It's less scary. But like I said, Tailwind should pop. Dragon Call should be able to take out the Charizard. And then, depending on what he goes into, can really make us decide our next move. Because we still have that Rotom in the back. We got to remember, we still have that lovely little Rotom. He's going to go for that Ice Fang. There's the Ice Fang. We're going to be able to soak that up all day. Yachi Berry poking out here. Look at that. Yo, no damage. We were probably soaking that up without our Yachi Berry. Rough Skin's going to chip away a nice little chunk. Gyarados is hurt. Yachi Berry weakens the damage. And then Tailwind's poking. Come on, Tailwind. Come out here, baby. Tailwind out. We got speed all day. We got speed cooking. And I might just Sun Sap him next turn. Dragon Claw's gonna poke. KO. Big time KO. All day. Garchomp. All day. Okay. Um, I set up a Swords Dance. <laughs> I kind of want to set up a Swords Dance. I'm not even gonna lie. 
Not even gonna lie, Burn's gonna chip. Burn's gonna chip because if I can strength sap, at least screen's away, but we still have a, do we have a reflect? We do have a reflect. That's why we're soaking up a lot of damage. I totally forgot about the screen, Joe. Alkazam playing from the green. That's what I love about screens. They just last a good bit. I kind of wish we had a light clay on this Pokemon onto the uh, Alkazam, but it's just like, it needs to focus, Ash. It gets one hit too many times. Way too many times, but we're sitting here. Uh, I think strength sap might be the play. Strength sap into a sword stance. I mean, no, he has that ice move, which kind of scared me. This move's definitely scaring me. I think I'm gonna swap the guard chomp into Rotom while we have the speed. While we have the speed, I think that's a play. Go into Strength Sap, just drop that thing's physical attack, get HP fully back onto our uh, Drift Flame, and then swap. And then swap. Use our Tailwind turns to our advantage instead of protecting. We'll swap. Guard chomp, get back here. Let's Strength Sap. The ice move has to come out here from Articuno, right? It's gotta be an ice move. It's gotta be an ice move. We don't have light screen up anymore, but yo, the stones. I forgot about the stealth rocks. They're such a pain, yo. Strength Sap's coming out here, Gyarados. Just knock it off. Just knock yourself off. But like I said, yo, if we can take out four, I consider that a victory. But you know we are always aiming for that six. We always shooting for the moon here on the, the Jeans YouTube channel. Gyarados goes for the Ice Fang. That's easy eats. That's easy eats all day. Look at that. That's like nothing to us. Is he doubling down into us? Could be good. See what he goes for. He goes straight for an Ice Beam. Now, is that going in Drift Blim? It is going in Drift Blim. Oof. Ouch. That's some big damage. Hey! Hey! What you mean you freeze me? What you mean you freeze me? I'm not worried about the Gyarados, yo. Gyarados is just chilling there. My Reflect wears off, though. That's whack. That is whack. I do want to Strength Sap again to get HP back, and we are just going to go straight for a uh, Thunderbolt into the Articuno. Can this one-tap an Articuno? I don't think we are going to be able to one-tap Articuno. If we are, that's that's huge. That is, that is good. That is good. That is really good, but I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I think we only took out one of his Pokemon, right? And I'm not sure. Drifflim is frozen side. Of course we don't thaw out. Of course we don't. He's gonna thrash. It does not affect me. Silly. Silly. T-Bolt's gonna come out here. Half this damage. And who's Articuno gonna go after? Ice Beam. That's gonna take out my Drifty. Drifflim, no. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Drifflim. Okay. So we bring out... Bring out a lovely Garchomp. And... We know Gar oh, Gyarados is fastest on the field. We know Gyarados is fastest. Garchomp's gonna fly out here. And Rotom outspeeds the Articuno, which is good. So we know another Thunderbolt can take out him. We can Dragon Call into the, uh, into the Gyarados if we want to. I could, sw I could Swords Dance. I could Swords Dance and look for this victory. I could Swords Dance. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Hmm. I'm going to Swords Dance. I'm Swords Dancing here. I'm Swords Dancing. I'm saying, I'm saying Garchomp soaks up a shot here. Rotom kills Articuno, we can protect, take out the Gyarados next turn, and be in a great speed position. Because Garchomp's a really fast Pokemon. He goes straight for the- Ooh, the Waterfall. Ooh, the Waterfall. Rotom eats, okay. So Sword Dance is out and about. We are going to be able to take out Articuno, no problem here. Citrus or Mago Berries poking, so we can probably eat up another Waterfall. Yo, yo, I like it when we're sitting. Yo, items coming in clutch. Thunderbolt takes out Articuno. We have Sword Dance set up. Gyarados is minus one. Actually, no, he's even because he dragon dance. Attack board. It's plus one on speed, but he's also burned. So, I could double protect. I don't know who I would want to protect here. Helen Peter's out. That's tough news. That's tough news. Who do I protect? I think he's going to go for a waterfall. But I know he has Torkoal. If he goes in Torkoal, I have to EQ. If he goes into Torkoal, I have to EQ. He's going to go into Strax. Okay, so I'm not going to EQ. I'm just going to stick to my Dragon Call. Do I protect the Rotom now, though? I think protecting the Rotom is our call here. I think we just go into a straight... Hmm... I think we take out Gyarados and we go into a Protect here. We gotta protect the real time. I think he's shooting a Waterfall. There's no way he's going for that uh, Ice Fang cross. Just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. That'd be tough. That'd be tough. I see the Waterfall coming out because he saw how much damage that does. He's like, yo, I gotta go for this one. He saw how much damage the Waterfall does. He's gonna be sitting there like, yo, I gotta go for the Waterfall. Hopefully he goes for this. But yo, this is a solid long battle. Solid 4v6 battle. And did we take out four Pokemon yet? I mean, we are gonna do it here. So it's, it's a win in my book. It's a win in my book, 100%. But you know, like I've been saying, we pushing for that 4v6. We don't play around here. We got a few under, under our belts already. Bleh, can't speak right now. We got a few under our belts already. Let's, we're trying to get another one. We're trying to get another one. Rotom's going to protect here. Is the waterfall coming? 
three, Joe. See, yo, I'm in his head. I'm in his head all day. We know exactly what he's thinking. Dragon Claw is going to poke you later, Gyarados. And let's hope that he's doubling down on the Rotom. That could be great. That could be great because I could freely go into EQs with Rotom on the field. So Nice goes for an Earthquake. Okay, that's a, that's a little scary, but not really. Because it's not stabbed. Garchomp should be able to soak that up all day. All day, Garchomp. All day, baby. He gets a crit, too. Get out of my face. Not dealing with you. All right, so we're freely going into EQs. He's probably sending out Torkoal here, if I had to guess. All right, is Torx coming out here? And if it is, like, I'm not worried about it because, again, we're Swords Dance. We're Swords Dance up. Yo, dude, I'm seriously hoping this would be awesome if we could 4v6 this. Because we're playing super well. This is not really a team that's, like, built for 4v6s. It's not really. It's kind of just built for a nice, slow, slow play 4v4. Setting up screens, all that good stuff. The screens have been clutching, yo. Alkazam, I've been loving them. Driftwim has been clutching this battle. Let's see who he goes into. He has two more left. No, he has three more left, right? Or does he have two? Is it just Torkoal and Snorlax? Who we take out? We took out the Gyarados. We took out the Articuno. Um, he withdrew the Torkoal early on. We took out the Drapion. Um, I think he has three left. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it's three. I think it's three. This guy quitting, like, what's he doing? <laughs> like, yo, make a move, dude. You got, like, two Pokemon to pick from. Just pick one of them. Just pick one of them. I don't know if he turned off his switch. No, he didn't. He's going to go into Torkoal, and I'm loving that. I'm loving that. EQ should be able to take that out easily. We're Swords Dance up. It's Stab. It's super effective. He's going to send the drought. And do I pop an Overheat? Do I pop an Overheat into that uh, Snorlax? Oh, there's only two. Yes, yo. We popped this. We yo. We're sitting in a great spot. He just brought out the drought for us. He just brought out the drought for us. Did we just do it? Did we just do it? We can't miss an attack. We cannot miss an attack. Like I said, EQ should be able to take out the Torkoal. Should be able to do a decent amount of damage to that Snorlax. And then an overheat in the drought. Sounds pretty good, right? It sounds pretty good. It's looking like we're doing work. This guy's like contemplating life right now. He's like, did I really just lose 4v6? Who is this Jeans guy? And then he's like looking up on YouTube. Who is Jeans? And then it just pops up me. The best Pokemon player ever. <laughs> EQ's going to poke. Levitate's going to come out here. Dodge it. That's huge. And take out that Torkoal. Oh, yes, sir. It takes out the Torkoal. Brings the Snorlax down to yellow. And like I said, yo, this Overheat should be able to take him out. And if it doesn't, we should be fine. We should be fine because he has no double hitting moves. Overheat pokes. Rotom Heat for the win. For the 4v6. No, it does not. Oh, this is tough. Because if he takes out my Garchomp, we might lose this one. That's for Heavy Slam. Go after Rotom. Oh, no. Okay, it is after my Rotom. That's, that's, that's wonderful. He goes after Rotom. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. I was going to say, Rotom can't really take that thing out. That Overheat did not do nearly as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Not nearly as much damage as I thought it was going to do. We're going to go into another Overheat, but Dragon Call is going to outspeed. It's going to take that thing out. And there it is, guys. Yo, a perfect record. More importantly, a 4v6 to end it. What a set of battles for today's video. Ended up going 3-0 for you guys and grabbing ourselves that perfect record. I absolutely love this team. I thought it was great all around. We got some longer battles in for you guys, so hopefully you guys did enjoy the longer video today. But yo, Alkazam is great with this support build. You got the screens to set up. He hits pretty hard, and he outspeeds pretty much everybody. And then every other Pokemon on this team is really, really strong. You guys already know how strong the Guard Chomp and is. Storm Drain Gash Time, we got to show off to its fullest potential with that ability. Rotom's great, and Drift Bomb was phenomenal. Got to set up Tailwinds, got to get some burns on. Off, got to get off some strength stabs and all around just dominate the battle but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody